Hello, hello, and welcome back to Entrepreneur Talks Podcast. This is season four. Thank you for being with us through all the previous seasons, and we're going to have more fun and inspirational stories for you to hear on season four. My name is Yola Bastsch. I'm one of the co-founders of Women Flix Network Community. We are focused on empowering and motivating women around the world to achieve their dreams. We mainly support them through coaching, business strategies, and workshops. Our aim is to build connections that will increase the power of women in collaboration and be able to create space for growth and expand our knowledge. Find more about Women Flix through Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, and YouTube. You can find us always by Women Flix. I also want to say welcome to my guests on this new season. And I hope for my listeners to enjoy every episode and get in touch with each of my guests through the information that will be available on each podcast episode description. My guest for today's podcast is Inspiring Vanessa. Vanessa is not your average 13-year-old girl. She is an international, multi-award-winning motivational speaker, a presenter, a podcast host, YouTuber, a model, and an author of two books. Vanessa's journey began when she was only nine years old and became one of the youngest motivational speakers in the UK. I'm so excited to share with you our conversation. So let's welcome inspiring Vanessa. Inspiring Vanessa, welcome to my podcast. I'm so excited to have you here today with me. Thank you so much for inviting me on here today. I'm super excited to have this interview and have a little discussion with you as well. Oh, fantastic. Before I start with my questions about your journey, your story, where are you talking from? Um, so I am talking from London, as you can probably hear by my accent. So um, currently I'm in London, that's where I've been living for the past almost 14 years. So yeah, I'm logging in from the UK. Fantastic. Me too. I'm from London. I'm in London as well. I'm not from London, but I'm in London in, for the last 17 years. So I'm from Portugal and I'm so okay. excited. I have a chance to go there, but I'd love to go to Portugal. Yes, you should. You should. You have to. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. <laughs> Put on your list for next year because this year with the COVID lockdowns and stuff is much difficult. But I'll put it on my list. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. So, Vanessa, my guests, oh my God, I, I'm, so, I'm so grateful because I have the opportunity to talk with one of the youngest entrepreneurs in the world i believe like you must be it's not too many people like you right um i mean there are a few like kid entrepreneurs but i haven't seen someone do motivational speaking who's like exactly the same age as me if that makes sense or from the uk but there we do know a few of our friends who are inspirational people wow. tell me how did this journey how did you start it what happened? So, yeah, so I've been doing motivational speaking for four years now. So I started when I was nine years old and I'm currently 13. 
I think when this interview is going to come out, I'm going to be 14 because I'm turning 14 in August, which is next month. So I'm very, very excited uh, for my birthday. Hopefully I'll still be able to see some of my friends or like FaceTime them or call someone um, for a birthday. Um, but I started when I was nine years old and it all began when we attended an inspirational event or a seminar, whatever you want to call it. And one of the speakers there, we were following on social media at the time. And when we arrived there, it was like my first time meeting him. So I was like totally fangirling. I saw him as a celebrity. And then before, I think maybe like two or five minutes before he was going on stage to do his speech, deliver his speech, he was like, Vanessa, you should come on stage with me. And my first reaction was like, oh, absolutely, absolutely not. Um, because I feel like when I was nine years old, I was much more introverted. I would say or consider myself introvert now still. I think beforehand when I was nine years old, unless I unless I knew you, I wouldn't talk to you because I just didn't understand the reason behind speaking to someone new or speaking to a stranger, if that made sense. So to be honest, my first initial reaction was like, I'm not going to go on stage. Like I'm not prepared. Why would I want to do that? Um, but eventually my mum did encourage me, give me those empowering words to help me go up on stage. And I was like, okay, no one wants me to do a TED talk or like an hour speech. And it's not like a thousand people in the room. Um, so I'm going to go on stage say like some quotes for 30 seconds and then literally run back off stage and everything will be fine. Hopefully no, no one will remember it. Um, but when I did go on stage, it was just like something clicked. There's really no other way to explain it, but something just clicked in my head. Like this is actually where I can help more people because when I first came across this idea of having motivational speaking as a job, I was like, so I can travel around the world, speak, use my voice and also help other people at the same time I was just like this is the perfect thing for me because I always wanted to do something that would allow me to help other people and would still allow me to do what I love and still be passionate about it still enjoy it and yeah when I discovered that speaking was a thing I was like this is something I want to pursue and then um, I'm always like, like, I'm not very patient. I'm not the most patient person. So I'm like, I'm not gonna wait till I'm 20 years old. Um, I'm just gonna start doing it now. So um, I got my mum's permission from it, obviously. And thank goodness she kind of said yes. She said, okay, we're gonna make this YouTube channel. Okay, we're gonna make this Instagram account or start letting people book you for events, for example. Um, so I'm very grateful that she was there to support me um, this whole way through. But yeah, ever since she kind of, gave me that yes that's how it how it all began and then um that, this is where we are now basically so it's amazing to see how it first started wow vanessa and you talk like an adult <laughs> <laughs> thank you a lot of people say that to me i'm like really maybe on interviews maybe on interviews i sound a bit more mature but if i'm like around my friends i'm just yeah. um, i'm slightly different i've got a different yeah. persona <laughs> <laughs> so beautiful i'm so impressed because uh, while you were talking i'm just thinking did she so you started when you were nine years old did you yeah did you like J justin bieber or what who was your singer your your favorite singer because my daughter she likes justin bieber but she's 22 years old so it's, it's, a bit, <laughs> it's a bit different from you you're still 13 but back in the days i don't know if justin bieber was up yeah if justin bieber was in the house already so i don't know <laughs> Just like thinking about your yourself as a child and then you boom you got into a stage and you became a, a motivational speaker from like you you understood like yes this is it this is what <laughs> I love to do and you yeah. have been supporting you this is so um, oh amazing and so you. you're welcome and other thing that while you were ta talking I just realized like You've been doing all these things, but your mom, your parents, they've been the they've been the one of the most important things, right? That made this happen. And you and you made it clear when you said that because this is this is amazing. Because I believe your mom as well. She's a she's she's maybe not a motivational speaker, but she's an entrepreneur. She loves to see her daughter just the way you are and the the things you do, right? Yes, for sure. I think my mum, well, we always say like she's my mummager because yes. it's literally just the both of us, me and my mum behind what I do. So it's always been the two of us. So everyone's like, oh, 
um, who do I contact if I want to book you for an event? It's just like contact my mum because she's my ma she's my manager. She's my co-producer um, of Inspiring Vanessa. Um, so it's just really fun to see or for other people to see um, actually that it's not like a whole team behind my social media platforms. It's yeah. me kind of being the brand and obviously being on the interview, but then it's also my mum kind of being that backbone and helping me through everything as well. So we are our own little team. So teamwork does make the dream work. <laughs> yeah, totally. I love it. I love it. And before, before what, what was your mum doing before everything started? She was already working with social media or so because she had to get trained, right? To learn about all this stuff. Um, because so many of my friends are like, oh, so your mom actually has like your Instagram account on her phone. I'm like, yes, we run it together basically. Everyone's like, oh my gosh, when somebody tries to message you, like you don't want your mom to see that. I'm like, I've really got nothing else to hide. Like, um, my whole Instagram account is open and that's why my mom obviously runs it or monitors it just in case anything does come through. So um, my mum did network marketing before I kind of got into speaking and she's always been um, in childcare, so she's a nanny. So she looks after kids. So she's always had kind of a very passionate heart of wanting to help other people. I think that's where I get like my passion for helping people from as well, from my mum. Um, but I think she just kind of learned about social media with me at the same time because um, she never used it to grow um, a business or like a speaking career so she never really used social media to that extent so when we started to go to more events network with more people go to different conventions and learn about how youtube works how social media works how, or how instagram works we've just learned so much knowledge over the years of going to these events and that's pretty much how we know what to do otherwise we learn something new almost every day because so many of our amazing friends um do give us some tips here and there to help us grow the account if we are having a bit of an issue but otherwise we basically just grew together we just learned um about social media or about how to become a successful speaker at the same time that's fantastic Wow, it makes sense because it's very important when we create a small business, no matter how big we'll, we'll be, but from the beginning, it's good for us as owners to learn about it because at least when we live in someone's hands, we know what they're going to do. And it's, that's a brave, brave steps that you and your mom has been doing because you both <laughs> are, wow, you are brave because you both are Thank you. In <laughs> journey together like powerful. I love this. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. And now coming to your journey as a multi motivational speaker, Vanessa, you've been yeah. talking with, how, how can I put this? Um, how what is the range like what age do you normally speak to um it really does change uh, most of the time in terms of social media because i still use my platforms to share the same like speeches or motivation messages or just videos in general um so i think the majority of my audience on online is around kids who are the same age as me and will maybe like a little bit older otherwise sometimes like my friends as parents obviously on social media as well so that is also part of the following and they kind of share it to their friends and family um so online audiences quite a lot of young people as well as adults so it's just kind of a mixture but then when i speak at an event sometimes i speak at school so obviously they would be around like my age or sometimes a little bit younger like in primary school um but then again i could speak at a really business type of entrepreneurial event and there would be a lot of adults in the room so to be honest I think it's easier for me to speak to adults rather than young people just because if I say something um, wrong in front of young kids they're not going to be scared to say something, if that makes sense like we're just really brutally honest I feel like this generation um, so I think it's like you know practice speaking in front of young kids because I'm the same age as them so even though they can relate to me they can't relate to me because everybody has a YouTube channel or an Instagram account or has a motivational speaking career um so I feel like adults are a bit more calmer or a bit more professional just in case I happen to make a mistake on stage they wouldn't like start laughing or something like that but um yes it really does change and usually it's just quite a mixture oh wow <laughs> I'm so 
I'm so like, oh my gosh, this is happening. Uh, <laughs> I love it. I just love your energy. Your way of talking is the the way I've, I see in your eyes because I can see your face right now and I'm like, oh wow. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is amazing, wonderful. So and and you you do you run like your brand is insp- inspiring Vanessa, correct? And yeah. do you run any Do you have any coaching? Do you do anything apart from the events, from apart from the motivational speaker? What do you do more? Um, so, you, yeah. yeah. Um, so after or like besides doing speaking, um, I still do like other just public speaking in general. So I love doing presenting um, or doing interviews. So sometimes or I in the past I've had the opportunity to um do interviews with some celebrities on like red carpets at premieres so that's an amazing experience a fantastic um kind of time to be there an atmosphere in general as well i've also in the past got into like co-host with other speakers and presenters so that has been really fun to do as well um so even though kind of doing motivational speaking is my main thing that i do i still do so many things on the side that still allow me to speak to new people or help people there's always that message behind it anyways um but besides speaking or presenting and like youtube and social media um i do modeling so i have done like a few runways which has been really really fun to do and i've also met some of my like best friends through these kind of um fashion events these fashion shows so this year 29 no not 2019 2020 um, in february i got to um walk at london kids fashion week and previously on the years beforehand i presented for them so i was hosting the events along with some of my friends too and then this year i was like actually i want to be a model um this year so we were like okay let's audition for it let's sign up for it and then next thing you know i was walking um for some brands on that as well so that was really great so just anything that just kind of brings me joy or lets me just kind of have fun because at the end of the day i am 13 years old and i do want to have fun or i just do want to lie in bed sometimes and be lazy Um so just trying to do anything that does bring me joy anyways but I do do a lot of things um apart from speaking. <laughs> That's so amazing. Wow. <laughs> and you you also run a program, right? 12 weeks program that is in schools. Yeah. How we, how that um, Um so my online program is called the Confidence Accelerator and basically what it is it is online but it's also like a course that kids can take with their parents as well because it's like a little bonding activity we like to say it uh, but it is a 12 week program and when people sign up for it um you get a video every week which kind of helps them grow their confidence and progress in their confidence and you also get like a little task to do and then we have like a facebook account or like a group where people put in what they've been doing this week that's going to help them grow their confidence and to be honest some of the customers and people we've had at the end of the 12 weeks has been extraordinary just to see how much this child that we have seen from the beginning at week 1 and to see them at the end at week 12 is been crazy amazing because even though I'd love it to work for other people you don't expect it to actually work until you do see results so i think it's just been a really great experience all around um but otherwise we haven't really been focused on it, focusing on it um that much but we still do like so many other stuff on the side right yes yes you've got so many things in your life which makes you more like you said <laughs> you want to be joyful you want to make sure you enjoy life and that's very important yeah and what about if i i don't know if i you if, if you can answer this question but how do you see yourself in five years time you just for oh. you're gonna be for um, now yeah <laughs> no, in, five, in five years how i'm gonna be 19 <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> wow um everybody's listening just kind of picture me with like that shock emoji and then i just kind of represent my my face right now but um oh that, that's really scary to think of me 19 years old in 5 years and 5 years does go really fast so you just kind of have to spend every day wisely um but 
where I do see myself in five years is um, hopefully presenting a TV show or my talk show that is currently on Amazon Prime, which is called The Inspiring Vanessa Show. Um, for that to be on a bigger platform or a bigger program and for that to be taken on actual television would be a dream come true just to kind of have these episodes um, for other people to watch um, on TV and to um, allow there to be an audience for young people as well for them to tune in watch these episodes and these interviews and still learn a lot from it as well as just hearing about these individuals and their journeys so I think my my very long-term goal for the next five years is to hopefully keep growing um, on the talk show and let that be or um, hope that it will be on a bigger program on television um, but right now it is on Amazon Prime so that is an amazing kind of accomplishment anyways so that will always be something that I'll think about as an amazing highlight of my journey um, but I'd love to do a speech at We Day and because there are so many like I think there's like almost like 10,000 kids in the audience from all over the UK and they all come to hear these like figures, these celebrities, and also just these normal people talk about how they want to change the next generation. So not only is it just inspiration, but it's also how can we help climate change? How can we do this? How can we do that? So if I could speak at We Day um, in the next five years, that would be um, an incredible opportunity. And I'd love to do a TED talk as well. I've always wanted to do a TED talk, so that would be really fun and really um, excellent too. You will be, you will be. I can see you there. Oh, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. And also I can see you coaching a lot of famous people that is going to come for you. Coaching. <laughs> you. <laughs> coaching thank you. Lot of people. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. We'll see. <laughs> and let me share one thing, one very amazing, how I say, beautiful, sparkling, mega hyper, I, I don't have no more no more words like to add like all the good great oh. words i'm going to share the experience that i had about you vanessa because two weeks ago i went to amazon because we've been on lockdown and i for some reason i normally go i said okay i, I watch everything i can all the movies on netflix i do have <laughs> netflix and amazon and for some reason i just found you on amazon and I put on my list, click, and I added oh. it to my list. And last week, when I got, I, I was on my LinkedIn talking with other people, networking, and this message just came into my LinkedIn uh, about yourself. And I was, I just clicked there, and I was like, wow, what is this? <laughs> what is this girl? I want to meet this girl. One day I want to, oh, I should invite her to come to my podcast. <laughs> and I, on that day this was on uh, in the afternoon on the evening when i when i went when i switch off uh, all the networks and social media because i like to switch off and have my time as well i went to my to my amazon and i decided to go to see okay what i'm gonna watch and guess what i found you there i said oh yeah. this is the universe because i said <laughs> it was meant to be it was meant to be <laughs> when i saw you on amazon I thought like, oh no, y'all, you, maybe you asking too much, <laughs> but then you just came up in my life like, wow. And I'm like, I'm so grateful. I'm so great to be able to listen because from, from your podcast session with me, you're not just going to inspire other people. You inspire me. I'm 43 years old. I'm almost coming in 17, 16 days. I will be 44 and I'm so empowered by you girl it's just thank you thank cool. you so much that means so much to me thank you and i'm seeing yourself i'm gonna be i will see you like you said doing pod i doing coaching doing all the things you you will you wish for they will happen you just keep yourself persistent and consistency don't give up for your dreams never this is amazing oh. i like thank that. you you're welcome Vanessa and my last question now because I need to leave you otherwise I will stay here all day <laughs> to you how can people connect with you and find more about your work um so you can find me on all social media platforms my YouTube channel is inspiring Vanessa 
Um, we're trying to hit 10,000 subscribers by the end of 2020, by the end of this year. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please go and do so and share my channel to your friends and family that we can kind of grow um, the community of inspirators that I have on there. Um, my Instagram is at Inspiring Vanessa as well. LinkedIn is Inspiring Vanessa. Twitter is Inspiring V10. TikTok is just inspiring me and then you can also get all my other details about my podcast and my talk show um, on my website which is www.inspiringvanessa.com I don't know how <laughs> all these links, but <laughs> amazing. All these information. Everything is, on, everything is on the website. So it's yeah. easy to find it all on there. Yeah. And, and also will be on the description of your podcast. When it comes live, all the information will be there. And everyone, my listeners can go and click, 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 <laughs> find you everywhere like I did. <laughs> and I, uh, uh, everything will be there so they can get to, get to know you better. And also about your, your program, this is going to be as well on your website, correct? The program that you do 12 weeks. For, yeah. Um, the program isn't on my website, so you can't sign up for it on the website. But if you do message me on Instagram, because I always do check my messages. Um, so if you message us, if you just leave a message on Instagram or you email us, because you can almost you can email people on Instagram as well, just drop us an email and we'll be sure to get back to you. Okay, so for anyone that wants to get involved on your 12-week program, needs to get in touch by through Instagram, correct? Yes. <laughs> awesome. Fantastic. This is it, Vanessa, inspiring Vanessa. Thank you so much for this amazing session with me. I'm so grateful. And I... I mean, thank you so much for um, inviting me onto the podcast um, it was lovely speaking to you as well and hopefully after this is all over after this pandemic is finished we can finally um meet yes yes we are both in london and i will be <laughs> following and trying to find when you got any event i will be there i'm say hey hey it's me <laughs> <laughs> okay oh i'll definitely remember you i'll definitely remember oh, you <laughs> you will i will and you will okay take care and god bless you and all the best never give up from your dreams i love your energy your energy is just thank you so much and thank you so much to everyone who's listening to this interview fantastic take care vanessa bye -bye. all right bye hello hello once again i want to say thank you for joining us on our podcast episode we came to the end of this episode but we will have another episode next week so don't forget follow us so you can catch the next one you take care and i speak with you next week bye